Um, there is an item, item 3B on the agenda that we may want to we can defer till he gets here. You think? So before understanding that one of our members is not here, but we can start some of our, some of our stuff we need to do here. We can call it. We can call this meeting to order. Uh, would you please call the roll? Ted Carlson. Yeah. Terrence Kelly. He's David walking in the hallway. David Nesbitt. I am here. Keith Silver. Here. Steve Strong. Here. D. Ennis, Deputy Municipal Attorney, is here, and Linda Richardson, Administrative Hearing Officer, is here as well. And we have a quorum. Um, first item on our agenda is to approve the agenda. And it's quite a lengthy agenda, some of which may get deferred to a special meeting. And before we approve, I need someone to make a motion to add an advisory opinion, 2014-1, to new items. And I'll pass that. I've got some copies. We can take one and pass. Oh, I had, I had uh, pre-knowledge of this one. We could make it 7F. No, this is this is a different one than I thought. And just to note that is a confidential request. Okay. This is. Mm-hmm. So, I'm asking for a motion to accept 2014-1. To our agenda. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Well, we're not discussing it yet. No. We'll get to it. We have a number of confidential matters. Yeah. Then I have one other item. It's a notice of intent to respond to public solicitation. If we could add this one as item <laughs> seven a. Five. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight. I'm going to take that back. If we can, could you make it seven B two? To 7B2, do we have a motion uh, to move this notice of intent to respond to public solicitation to 7B2? Yes. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? <coughs> Where did we put the first one at? Um, the first one ended up being 7 or 7F. F. You. Here we can begin now. Yes, well, there's a good reason to wait for you today. Um, you said 7B. So, Mr. Kelly, while you get ready, the, the first thing on our agenda, we've had, we had two motions. We had any, any objection to the two motions? Hearing none, motions are approved. Now, can I? Yes. Can I fill Terry in? The motions were to accept those two items onto the agenda, oh, to be okay. added to the agenda. One's a, a confidential request for advisory opinion, and the other one is a, uh, a solicitation notice. Thank you. Thank you. 
as you can see by agenda, it's pretty busy today. So I'm going to have to move um, with all dispatch here. The first one on the order here is um, 3B, Organization <coughs> Board of Ethics, to elect a chair and a co-chair, or vice chair, excuse me. And um, we're required to do that on an annual basis, and I'm, I'm led to understand that this is the time with which we're supposed to do that. Well, how long have you been chair? Uh, it was a short period because Dr. Kelly abdicated. <laughs> is that the right term? I think that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, how long had he been for sure? How long he a been? year plus? Yeah. A couple yes. years? That would be two, right? Couple. But, um, to be precise. I it's more than one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you comfortable remaining as F chair? I just assume we continue on um, as is. Well, Do we have to go through a motion? Or? Yeah. I mean, Second. I, but. Uh, <laughs> it's been moved in a second to keep the, the chair and vice chair. That would be that would be my proposal. Okay. Hearing no objection, then we'll pass it. So. Right. What he said. Yeah. How about you continue? I was continue just going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I got to tell you, Dr. Kelly, since you uh, abdicated or stepped down as chair, and I you know I appreciate it. it does make it does it is nice having the the former chair in the room with your history. Um, to help, kind of like a lot of organizations have the past president uh, still stay on the board, and it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but it's it's been somewhat of a hot seat for a while, so um, I, I'm fine with it. Um, but I we may require some. We have a, a special meeting request we need to deal with, and some other things. That I made since everybody else decided that I didn't have to go to, you know, that they didn't want to go to the assembly meeting. I made a decision for you, mm -hmm. and we'll discuss that later. Well, that's, um, that's fair. If we don't well, that, know. that's precisely the kind of leadership so, that we look to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, do we have a motion to move to approve the agenda as amended? We added two items to the agenda. Yes, yeah, so move. Where did you add these? We added the um, the notice to supply to to uh, respond to public solicitation under E F or yeah E four right no it's under F seven uh, F. So um, we added a notice of intent to respond to solicitation under seven B two, and then we also okay, added yes. an advisory opinion two thousand fourteen dash one under seven F. Yes, I stand corrected. So I just wrote it in on my agenda. And we passed those around, Ted. Yeah. Yeah, Luke's, uh, this one doesn't have tabs, and we have to miss this. Yeah. I'm just wondering if Senator Lemon Limboski's here to testify, and she has another engagement. Do we want to move that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Um, we can do that, but there's going to be one, two, several people who have to leave um, for the for that period of time uh, because because it is a confidential matter. Which just don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but that's if that's what you wish to do. But we need to approve the agenda, and then we can move an item up if you. Okay, it, it, it makes sense. Approve the agenda first. Then, uh, so, do you second the agenda? Yes. So it's been moved and seconded to, to amend the agenda, and now um, are we now on 3B2? 3B2. And I know we just recently did these, but um, this is just housekeeping because we, we need to have another um, disclosure of present economic interest before February 15th, so <coughs> this is the meeting to do that at. So if you could just, by the end of the meeting, turn those back in to me, then we'll have another set for this yes. year. In, in your free time, folks. Um, before we get to um, some of them in Domboski's <coughs> things, we could go through. Do we have a moment? Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes they were sent to us by email um, of the last two meetings? You want a motion to approve both at the same time? Um, we could try that. Okay. Somebody has I move that we approve the minutes. Yes. 
December 18th and January 6th. Do we have a second? Second. Move and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous meetings, both on the December 18th and January 6th. Anybody opposed? None opposed. Um, so, I guess. Can I, I guess, actually yes, the, the December 18th, that was our last meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we had the January 6th special meeting right okay. before okay. the. Um, the assembly's meeting. Okay. Do you want uh, now that we're in that point under under uh, parents' request? Parents' request. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, an agenda item, so I would move that. And can I can I point a clarification? I believe she has two items on the agenda. Isn't, isn't there a code change as but, well? But that one, right? That one doesn't does not require. Does that require confidentiality? No. No, because no. it's good because I sent it out to everybody. Okay. It was an ordinance change. I didn't figure uh, that one. We don't have to kick everybody out for. Correct. I'm just yeah. saying there's two yeah. items and we need to identify which yeah. item you're addressing. Uh, I believe that Ms. Dombowski, the confidential matter is probably the one that's of more pressing concern. And it's one of those matters that uh, uh, assembly and administration come to us and need sort of quick advice. Right. Um, and um, uh, whether this board is able to do that kind of quick advice. It's a pretty limited issue. Um, so. Well, I, I've glanced at it. I have not done, obviously, a, a thorough research on it, but uh, what, what I've seen looks like we might be able to give her the advice uh, within a relatively short period of time. Well, maybe we can do that quickly then and, yeah. and take care of it, and then we can... So... Can we first get a motion to change the order of the day to right. take up 7F first? Uh, I believe that um, that's been made by... Do we have a second to, sure. yeah. to Mr. Carlson? Yeah, that's... Uh, second. Okay. Any opposed? Hearing none, take up uh, item 7F. And as this is confidential, I need a motion for executive session. Move to go into executive session. Second. Okay. 